Okay, uh, Rat Rod Magazine interview, take one. <laughs> and you're on. And I'm on. Yeah, Chad sent us a bunch of questions. He, he would like to interview you, but he couldn't make the trip, so I'll ask the questions. I'll be Chad. He's just too dumb lazy to come up here again. Yeah, and you have to answer. Okay, uh, please film each car separately, cover them from front to back, and make sure you catch everything. Okay, make. 1936 Plymouth. Model. P1 sedan. And the year, you already stated that. I already stated that. That's good. Engine. Uh, it's a 1991 350 Chevy, fuel injected, throttle body injected, with 300,000 kilometers on it. And what's it out of? A uh, suburban of my parents. It's out of Russ Wanzik's car, of Stock Car Museum for four years. Dad's good old suburban. Transmission is? The Trinity came with the suburban. Uh, automatic overdrive. So it's a 4L60 or 4L80? I think it's a, no, it's got the uh, white, it's got the cable, so it's the 700R. 700R, okay. Front suspension. Speedway motors. Four uh, inch drop axle. Four inch drop. Suicide, suicide front perch. axle. That's cool. With suicide steer. Uh, front brakes. Speedway motors. Nine and a half inch or nine and a quarter inch, whatever they are. Disc brakes. Yes, disc brakes. Rear suspension. 1984 Pontiac Grand Prix. I thought it was an 86. 85? 84? Same shit. Grand with, all, with all the factory <coughs> rear end, drum brakes, call spring suspension. So you've got the whole section of the frame. Whole section of the frame. Welded to the Z part of the 2x3 square tubing. Okay. Rear brakes. I said that. Metric GM stock. Metric GM stock. Rear axle. Metric GM stock. What's your ratio? I think it's like a 3 weight. Good for the highway. Yes. Uh, wheels and tires. Uh, which depends set, on what month. Which set, <laughs> which set that we've gone down to the states with? I got a set of aluminum slot. No, you got to get one set of aluminum slot fronts, three sets of aluminum slot rears, eights and ten inch wide, and on it right now are ten inch wide uh, chrome reverses with a set of '52 Chevy front rims and Shoreline hubcaps. And Shoreline, but hubcaps. they weren't in the photo shoot. No, they weren't. But the, the rims and tires that you have on now were in the yes. picture. With the baby ones. Yeah. Okay, interior mods. I put an interior in it. It didn't have one. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, it, super legacy seats, front and rear, out of a blown up car for my work. Are they tweed or are they velour? Or? They're velour with uh, Mexican blankets over top of them. Mexican blankets. With, okay. as a center console, a ammo box. But I had a tilt steering out of a 80s or whatever. You did Chevy. nothing else to the interior? I put stickers all over the panels that I got from Bombardier. <laughs> the door panels. Yeah, door well, that's panels. actually ceiling panels from the, the North Star rail cars that, that were cut to the wrong grain, so right. they were going to salvage them. And then the rest of it, a whole bunch of other junk dingly danglies here and there. And you made a roof? Made a roof out of a 84 S10 tonneau cover, Velcro. That some guy that I know will help me resell. <laughs> Took yes. a while. So I'm a redneck. Uh, what other interior mods? You, uh, what do you got for gauges in there? The factory gauges out of the Suburban and a tack and a vacuum gauge for mileage. And an iPod. And an iPod <laughs> with a USB port. <laughs> and three uh, cigarette lighter ports. And a low car shifter with a skull head. Now, uh, uh, with your uh, the wiring of the vehicle, which is a factory GM wiring out of the Suburban? Yes. Any accessories come with that wiring? Oh, yes, a car starter. <laughs> In a rattler. In a rattler. Uh, yeah, it yeah, is cold yeah. up today. <laughs> when I drove it here on the 20... What day is it? 25th. 25th of December. Just January. Hello. What month are you? January. It's not Christmas. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out that I'm turning 40 on Saturday. Yeah. You're on old. Holy crap. You're older. Uh, other details like badges, emblems, or options? Uh, got the factory, oh yeah, on the exterior, got the factory emblem on the hood, got the factory emblem on the grill, but the grill's a 38, not a 36, Plymouth grill. And a hood ornament? And Yeah, I said the hood ornament, it's factory. And the other hood ornament? Well, and the other hood ornament's a 31 Cadillac reproduction from the 60s. The one that's between the lights? Between the lights. What kind of lights you got? Uh, 38 Dodge headlights with the big pods and then a bunch of... And you've uh, updated the lenses, I assume? 
Uh, they came with that when I got them from Iola, but I put the uh, better s replaceable beams. Sealed beam. Or not sealed beam, that. Seven inch replaceable yeah. ones. Okay. And then the taillights are from a Caprice or Impala from the 60s. Six, 65 Caprice. 65 Caprice. Yeah. And the gas cap? That's a mid 80s Jaguar. Cool. With the key. With the key. Now. And, uh, okay, it's a P1 slant back coupe, right? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta put the sponsor plug in there. <laughs> They're sponsoring this? All right. Uh, uh, we're sponsoring them. Yeah, really. Eh? Um, steering wheel? Uh, which one? <laughs> I've got 11 of them. No, no, the one in the car. The one in the car right now is a uh, superior, probably from the 60s, with the slots instead of the holes. 11 steering wheels? Is it a fetish or something? Oh, well. <laughs> like an aluminum slot's got to have lots of steering wheels. Yeah. Okay, so if you have any any funny build stories, throw them in. Took me eight months to build it. Where did you in find the... Where, I'll, I'll read these off. Where did you find the car? Some uh, why did you I knew build had them? it sitting at the Stucker Museum. Why did you build them and how much do you like your American friend Chad? <laughs> well, he hasn't bought as much beer, so we'll debate that, the liking of them. Okay, so you, you traded? Traded an 84 S10 for the body, which you got from? I, I bought it on Rosin Road from a guy he had it for sale for 275 bucks or something. And it came from? Hearst. And that's where the other fender is, underneath the Hearst Highway. Yeah, because they built the highway there and the guy took the fender out because he's using it to power a sawmill. Yes. That's why I decided to go fenderless because I only had three fenders and I couldn't find a right rear fender for a 36 Plymouth. Yeah, they're kind of... Kind of rare. And I took... Uh, you didn't use the original frame either because it was bent to crap. Where'd you get the frame? A uh, guy named Russ Ponson gave it to me because some other guy gave it to him. And what's the frame from? Nothing. It wasn't ever used on anything. It was supposed to be for a 38 Plymouth. But it was, I don't know what kind of 38 Plymouth they were building because I took a foot and a half off of it and it's still fixed 16 foot wheelbase. So it's a custom frame, not like custom a, a box frame? Yep, yeah, box 2 by 3 square 2 And who altered the frame? You? I did, yes. I, well, I, I re zed the back. They had it zed, but it wasn't zed enough in the back. Okay, and, and then added the front perch and all that. Well, did the 3 inch tubing to the front. Cool. And it's a 4 bar up front or wishbones or what is it? Yeah, 4 bar. 4 bar? Four bar speedway brakes. Transverse leaf spring. Suicide perch, suicide steering with a Mazda steering box that some guy gave me. Mazda truck. Mazda B2000. Mm -hmm. Two wheel drive steering box. Why did you build it? Because I could. No. <laughs> <laughs> I already had this my 66 Chevy Shiner, so the whole rat rod thing was interesting to me on the internet. I'd never really seen a rat rod here in town, so I decided to build it. And it was affordable. In your garage with no heat? Well, it had my little electric heaters. Okay, uh, exhaust? A uh, set of Speedway lake pipes with a set of set, uh, five inch uh, diameter transport turndowns with super trap discs on the end for mufflers. And, and who, is the, who is the amazing artist that helped you build them? Uh, some guy. Because <laughs> <laughs> he had the proper pipe cutter. <laughs> and because you had beer. And I had beer. <clears throat> I always had beer. Okay, and what else? Uh, it's fenderless, you already stated that. It's got lots of lights on it. It's got lots of lights, because we drive lots of the dark coming back from car shows in the States. That takes us five hours just to get to and from them. We're dedicated, or just dumb, I'm not sure which. And I don't think you want to play Dodge the Deer too much. No. And how much do you like your American friend Chad? He, we, he's got to bribe us more. With. <laughs> so, beer. so hot dogs wouldn't do it? Well, maybe good steaks. But that's it. No. They go with beer. Let's go look at your car. Okay, let's go look at the car. 